session you had with Loris, how did that come about? Was there a connection before you guys met? Like, obviously, he saw something in you. So, was there um, what? Yeah, that no, conversation I, come about? Really, really, honestly, by chance, um, my my dad was living in Brisbane at the time, um, and I went up there to visit him, and he took me to a, a Lions Geelong game, and um, I don't know how it, it ended up, but yeah, we we ended up down in the Geelong rooms for some reason. I think he had a business partner or it was some reason I was down there and I saw Loris stretching the guys and handing out drinks and all sorts of stuff. And I was sort of standing near him and I just started talking to him and he, he's a lovely bloke, Loris. I'm not sure if you um, know much about him. And um, he was you know, really, he's, really he's open. Been, he's, and, been, he's been on the podcast. He was a ripper. Oh, he's been on the podcast. Yeah, no, nah, he's, yeah, yeah. And he, and he, he was just, yeah, he was just the loveliest bloke. Um, and yeah, I'm not really sure why, why he, uh, why well, he gave me so much, but yeah, thank God he did. But how important is it to really own that assistance? Yeah, I, yeah, I think um, I think it's really important that if you are lucky enough to get a role, an internship, um, you know, it's really important to do the little things and take the initiative and not have to be asked, I suppose. And just, I don't know, it, 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 it it's yeah, it kind of you don't want to um, belittle people by telling them to put cones out or, you know, you just don't want to see some enthusiasm from them. Um, mm. And and then I think in turn, when you see that and you see that someone's really into it and really excited to be in your environment and learn, um, you're probably more willing to give them more of your time um, to pass on what you you know and and kind of help them. And, and going back to your career, like you mentioned, Loris, who are some other people that have helped influence your um, career? Yeah, I'm, I'm really lucky. I've, I've worked with a lot of... Um, I guess you call them high performance managers now or senior fitness guys. So Loris was my first. Um, with him was Chris Dennis, who taught me a lot about strength training. Loris taught me a lot about power. Actually, Loris taught me a lot. Um, he was a great mentor and um, someone to bounce and learn a lot off. Um, after after the Cats, I was lucky enough to get a job. Um, so have you, you, do you know Cam Falloon, who is yep. quite a successful business guy? With He's been on body as well. Fit. Oh, has, yeah. been on <laughs> so Cam, um, Cam and I were at the Cats with Loris in 2006 um, and um, that all ended and, and Cam got hired as, as head of fitness or whatever the role was called back then at, um, at the Western Bulldogs. And How have you found you've changed your philosophy, both S&Cs yeah. but also for athletes listening, for footballers that, want to, that don't have access to an s &C, how should a footballer yeah. be preparing for the game, do you think? My philosophy is I've changed from trying to get the guys as strong and powerful and whatever as possible to how's my program um, get these guys into great shape for AFL, but also keep them injury free. Um, so yeah, it's moved. It's moved to more of a. I suppose we we do a we do kind of a conjugate program where we we still do touch on strength in the first part of a week, um, but yeah, we definitely do a lot more dynamic work than what what I would have done 10, 15 years ago. What about our favourite inspirational quote or life motto? Aim for the moon and if you miss, you'll hit a star, kind of think big, you know, and if, yep. if you miss, you're still going to do a pretty good job. Um, Dimmer, Dimmer's got a philosophy of the 80-20 rule. If you're doing things, if you're doing 80% of things well, you're generally doing a pretty good job and I think, you know, perfection doesn't necessarily exist. So, you know, kind of, and that's anything I'm doing as a parent, as a father or in my professional life or as a husband. I kind of think if I'm doing things pretty well to that extent, you know, I'm, I'm not too harsh on myself like I used to be with things. I hope that makes yep. sense. Yeah, 100%. That's a good one. 